Okay, I had created a number four contribution to a science slide deck video. I had some trouble with the recording, so I'm going to try again and I'll be borrowing some information from this slide deck. Another option for creating an assignment is to allow students to have a document that everybody edits. And the example that we're going to use will be with students contributions to a slide deck. Now, I could provide the students with instructions here. If I felt that it was a little bit more complicated, I could add a Google document that they can't edit. So let's start by creating that Google document. And I'm going to end up creating the document. And I'll close that out, go into my draft, edit the assignment, create a Google Slides. Now, within this slide deck, I have a title slide, I have some directions, and I have the slide that I want students to copy and paste. Just like PowerPoint, when you go to Theme, you can create different layouts for the slides to be used in that whole slide deck. In this case, what I want students to do is go to slide three, which is an original slide, and duplicate it. Once they duplicate it, then they'll edit that slide. And I give them some directions in order to duplicate a slide. Okay, we're going to call this 004 Chapter 4 Terminology. And remember, Google is saving as we go along. I'm going to save this as a draft again. And I'll explain that in a minute. I no longer want this assignment. OK, so here we are with our assignment. We have a title, some instructions, and we've added two documents, one a document and one a slide deck. These are the choices that I'd like you to pay attention to. If we have students can view the file, they can only open it. In another little video, I talked about making a copy of a document for each student as a template, but in this case, I want the students all to edit each the same slide deck. I'm not going to have this as a graded item. It's going to go to my sixth grade, all students. I would like it due on Monday next, on the August uh, 17th. No time. I talked about that in previous video. It's better not to include a time because if you say it's due at midnight, students are going to work up until midnight. And the topic could be a brand new topic, or it could be still saved under the week of September 14th. So let's make this due sometime during the week of September 14th. We'll make this due September 18th. Again, we'll talk about rubrics and plagiarism later on. Now, it's very important for you to know, as long as I keep saving this as a draft, I can continue to have all three choices for each item that I attach, and it can be different for each item. Once I assign that, it gets locked in. If I go back to edit this project, you'll notice now that I'm down to two options. Now you could only choose between the student can edit it and the student can view it. You can no longer give each student their own copy. Now we'll take a look at how this appears to students. And now the student has a new entry. When that student views the information, she has her directions. You'll notice when she opens that up, there are no editing tools. She can't change the font. She can't change the words. When she comes into the slide deck, every student can edit this. So she'll see the title page. She'll see these directions. She'll see the slide that says, do not edit after copying a change of the title. 
you're relying on the student to understand how to do that from the directions or asking questions of yourself or others. Hopefully she will duplicate the slide and then she'll be able to change this to her name, add her idea in the directions. They were asked to describe an example of a quantitative project in science class and they were told on the right side of the slide to add an image so they can go insert an image from the web and choose whatever image that they would like to use on this slide. Multiple students can be editing these slides at the same time. When the student's done, she can close that out, and since it is an ungraded assignment, she'll mark it as done. As the teacher, when I view the assignment, it may take a couple of minutes for the work to sync up, and when it does, you'll see that one of my students has turned it in, and one is still assigned to do the work. Let's go on as that second student. When that student goes to his classwork tab, he also sees assignment number four. He opens it. He also can open up those directions and he'll only be able to read them. He can close his tab. He can go into the Google Slides. And since everybody can edit it, when they open it up, they'll see not only those original first three slides, but they'll also be able to see other students' contributions. He can duplicate the slide for himself and now he can add his name. This little icon here also allows students to insert images. Once the student marks it as done, it will again become visible in the teacher's assignment. As before, students can see class comments that are made underneath the assignment. Private comments are just between the teacher and a particular student. And when I view the assignment, and when I view the assignment, I'll simply go into the chapter one slides. I can present these in a Google Meet or a Zoom class. And we can have a discussion about the merits of each of these as examples of quantitative experiments.